Hello, in this video we're going to do some comparative statics. So we have a market where demand is given by this equation and supply is given by this equation. R is going to be the price of capital. We want to first show how a change in the price of capital affects the equilibrium price. So we start by setting quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. So setting these two equations on top equal to one another, and we're going to solve for price. So adding 2p to both sides, we get the 5p. Subtracting 20 from both sides, we get 200. And then adding 20r to both sides, we get this result. Dividing everything through by 5, price equals 40 plus 4r. Now to find how a change in the price of capital affects the equilibrium price, We'll take a derivative of this price equation with respect to R, the price of capital, and we get 4. So uh, a one unit increase in the price of capital, or if the price of capital goes up by $1, the price will increase, the equilibrium price will increase by $4. All right, uh, still the same setup here. Now we just want to show how the change in the price of capital affects the equilibrium quantity. So from the last slide, we saw the equilibrium price can be expressed as 40 plus 4R. What we're going to do is we're going to plug this equation into either the demand or supply equation. It's slightly easier if we put it into the demand, but we'll still get the same answer if we put it into supply. So here's our demand equation where I have P I'm going to plug in 40 plus 4R. Now I'm just going to simplify it here. And this will simplify down to demand equaling uh, 140 minus 8R. To figure out how the price of capital affects the equilibrium quantity, take the derivative of the demand equation, okay, which will be the equilibrium quantity here. Uh, in, expressed in terms of R. Take the derivative of Q with respect to R and we get minus 8. So if the price of capital increases by $1, the equilibrium quantity will fall by 8. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.